we're here. Um, just gonna get flipped around here. Checked in, they gave me the keys, made sure we got the right one. They got the truck right up front. Got a little excavator here doing a flip around. He's gonna get loaded on that trailer. Uh, it's right where we're gonna load as well. So they're saying that that back end is pretty tall. They're saying to put the uh, front of the truck up on the back deck. And that's gonna help us, obviously. That's gonna bring down the rear height. Uh, the top of that drum, that last one we hauled was pretty tall, that was like 1310. For some reason, I don't feel like this one's that tall. All right, she's all loaded up. Not really racing through it, just taking my time. Another guy came in after me, picked up another one. He's already leaving. Good for him. But the truck on his trailer is still running. What are you going to do? Are you going to move it? You already got it all chained down. Um, 13.4 to the top of there. So it definitely uh, helps. Had to take a CB antenna off because we are way over 14 foot CB antenna. I don't want to smack anything with that. So um, the way these hooks are, I didn't X chain it. Um, they are open on the inside and I didn't want to pull that way on that. So we're gonna pull on the sturdiest part of the hook. Just straight down, it's fine. I've got our backwards movement protected. Extra pull down right there, forward, we're good. Everything's strapped up. I'm gonna take some pictures, we're gonna get on the road. All right, it is uh, Friday morning. We still have the uh, cement truck on. Uh, we loaded it up yesterday and drove for a while and we got to the other side of Nashville and I kind of just lost interest in working. <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, Kentucky's roads are pretty rough. So that kind of beat me up pretty bad. And uh, it was like 92 degrees. So... I decided enough was enough and I just stopped. Uh, we got enough time anyways. So um, it's like five in the morning right now. We're just cruising along. Uh, well, it was a good thing. So something good came out of yesterday, stopping that early. Uh, we're just hanging and bagging. Uh, just trying to stay cool. And I ended up finding a reload out of Texas. About 180, about 180 mile deadhead from where we're uploading. And it's going up to Connecticut. It is a uh, 11 foot 6 wide load. And that's paying 6,600 bucks. Tomorrow, I 
the number in my ELD, uh, which is how we get dispatched, I call that number and uh, I get an Indian lady and I start talking to her about the truck and she goes, uh, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number and hangs up on me. Why did you say, when I initially said I'm delivering you a cement truck, she goes, yeah? Like, why did you say that, you dummy? But, whatever. I checked the bill of lading. It's the same damn number on the bill of lading. So I called the broker. I'm like, you guys gave us the wrong phone number. And uh, got that squared away. She gave me the right number. And uh, we called the guy and that's where we found all that information that he's going to cool beans. That's going to set us up pretty good since we're going to uh, go get our reload uh, Monday morning. I'm kind of figuring that I'll just uh, unload that and start heading that way. I got about 180 mile dead head. And uh, we'll squeeze that in and we'll try to get a uh, we'll get our restart set up so that way Monday morning we're right there with a fresh clock. I like that blacked out version. I've seen a green one like that too. It looks really good. It's a good looking truck. Can work. We are uh, parking for the day. We're almost done. We were going to go a little bit farther, but there's a uh, gnarly little set of storms coming in. And I don't think I'm going to make it to that next truck stop where I wanted to stop before we start getting into that. Um, we're pretty close to Dallas anyways. So, we decided to throw it in this hole. Let's see if I can hit it. Got your truck. Must be out here test driving it. We are at the 1 9. Looks like a brand new place. Parking lots of brands making new. Truckers are starting to flood in nice about this place. I've never been here, but these parking stalls, they are wide. You can see it on those trucks. They're so wide, you kind of uh, misjudge it a little bit. You could park 12 wide in these things all day. But uh, I got it set up. We're going to meet the guy at uh, 8 a.m. tomorrow. That's going to allow me to get some rest tonight. And um, get up early to scoot through Dallas early Saturday morning. So that'll be gravy. And then we will... Um, We'll be all set then. We're going to unload right away, get all that done with, and head to our uh, reload spot, which I'm going to figure out tonight where we're going to stay for that. If there's a place near there. And uh, knock out a reset quick. So, hopefully we don't get into another tornado like last time. But that's, that's what's coming. So, catch you guys in the morning. Downtown Austin. I uh, have never been here. Any looking place? I must say.
here, here. Like I said, it's right off the, uh, see it. Right on an off ramp ish. I think we're gonna go in that yard. I think the guy's just showing up now. So, we're gonna get in here and get off the road. That'll be it for this one. We're gonna go and, uh, we got a couple hours, probably about three hours south to go. We got to go down by Corpus Christi. Uh, starting to have an issue with the uh, tail lights on this trailer. Uh, monkeyed around with them a little bit this morning, but uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. So let's uh, let them get this open and we'll get out of here. All right, so we are here. We're in uh, we're in Corpus Christi, and. Uh, we're just doing a 34 before we reload. Just waking up. Uh, I wanted to touch on this uh, wiring issue that we were having. So uh, last night, you know, it's a one-man show. Uh, I had to wait till nighttime to cool down a little bit. It's super hot and muggy here. Uh, so I waited till nighttime till we could, you know, Turn the lights on i could jiggle the wires and i could really figure it out um, i'll show you what we got so what we had was intermittent tail lights they'd come in they'd go and they'd flicker and pop and lock and see any in a tall glass i mean hella soft seen the pop to it all this club bullshit no it's not me all that kind of stuff kind of goofy running with that thing stretched out already I found this. This is a quick connect right there. There's a little bit of grease. That was nasty dirty. Um, but I would I would get taillights and then they would go off. And this would go off. Strobes would work. Uh, but the three DOT lights in the center would stay on. No matter what. All these would go off, but this would stay on. No matter what. So I checked all the wiring and found a little rubs back there. I, I did that um, yesterday. But what I found, a little loud, we got trucks running, it's so humid. The light cord was super, uh, jiggle it up there in the nose, and that would make the lights do their thing. Look at that. These two wires, were the only two that were still like tight. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I pulled all of them loose by hand. I just pulled them out. They weren't even in there that good. So, uh, we got a new fitting. 100% um, sure that's what was up. Disconnected up there. So we have no power here. I'm gonna clean all this up real good. And uh, I should do the trick. All right, update. So since we cleaned all the wires up, oh, whoa, we we're going crazy with the camera there. We're gonna crack in that. These have a little gripper that are meant to hold the sheet. Pretty sure that was digging into that as well. So we're gonna cut all these and come back more, get rid of this whole section. Um, <laughs> we got plenty of length anyways. So that'll just take out some of the extra length because it was always curled. So we're gonna do that. All right, just like that, uh, there's our brand new connection. A little bit dirty there, whatever. Pretty easy to do. Uh, let's go plug it in, make sure it works. Hey, she's all together. Uh, got a new tail light in, let's go check her out. Make sure everything is good to go. A couple different connections in the back there. Um, you see that new tail light? This is the second one in. It doesn't match perfect, but she legal. Cool. So that was definitely the problem. Um, them wires were loose inside that inside the plug and um, barely making a connection, bouncing around. 
um, dirty, just just a gnarly. So we're all set there. We should be all good to go for Monday. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning.